Hi, it's Carissa Goodlett. I'm going to do a quick Scent Share tutorial and I just wanted to show you the main things you need to know. First, whatever group you want to use Scent Share in, and by the way, you cannot use Scent Share in events, only groups, you need to go to Settings and go down to Apps and edit right there. So when you first add it, you're just going to click on Add Apps. And basically, I just search Sin, Sin Share, and um, I already have it in there, or else it would be showing. So, and then you just add it, and um, then you are good from there. Then you're going to go to Sin Share, and you'll go to this little circle part, which is where all your networks are. And once you have that app added in Facebook and you click on refresh, it's going to show whatever group that you just added it to. So um, takes a little bit here. Okay, so if I didn't already have it selected, um, I would just need to find Team Goodlit. There it is. And um, if you don't want to see it anymore, you can, well, you have to make sure it's a navy blue heart, by the way, okay? That way, like for instance, if it's the turquoise heart, you won't be able to post to Team Goodlet. So make sure that's navy blue. Um, I have a ton of networks that are old ones, okay? So I don't have that. I have them hidden right now, so I only see the ones that I have active right now. So I'm going to go over here to Manage Posts, and I'm going to show you how I schedule posts. So let's say this is some posts that I have from, um, let's see here. Okay, so say that you have a link like that like for instance for our facebook parties and things that we share with you so you would click on view and then you would be able to see all the posts from the facebook party so um, i'm just showing you this for an example i'm going to click on this select all and then click on batch post and that's going to let me schedule all of these posts. Now for these ones I like to do um, once a day. So here's where you can, you know, I'm starting it at 7.30 a.m. on next Monday. So um, I'm going to put one day and apply interval. And then this is going to put it one on Tuesday, one on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth, okay? And then I would just schedule that batch. Now, I'm not going to do that. Well, I will, just so you can see it. Oh, <laughs> see? Then you have to select your network. There we go. Schedule batch. And so I have these posts scheduled. If I go down to not saved, but pending, I now have all these posts scheduled for next week right there. Okay, now I'm going to delete those because I already have them scheduled. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to show you is that once something is already scheduled, so let's look at Brandy's party here. This is all scheduled for next week. I'm sorry, for this week. So what I'm going to do, Shirley's party is next week, so I'm going to use the same posts and the cool thing about this is that you can do the exact same, um, let's see, go ahead and batch post this. You can do the exact same interval, okay? So see how there's a new interval and you could do whatever interval you wanna do every five minutes, but I want to keep this interval because it is already in the exact order, the exact timing that I want for Shirley's party. It's just a week later. So, I'm going to put 3.30 p.m. just like it was in Brandy's party. And as you can see, it's not going to do 
you know, a five minute interval or any kind of look, five hours, 11 hours. So there's all sorts of intervals here, but this is an interval that I had before. Okay. This is in my other parties that I'm doing. And so it makes it super simple for scheduling parties from past parties. So I'm going to have this one start though on the 23rd, not the 16th. Cause like I said, Shirley's party is not the 18th. It's one week later. It's the 25th. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply that interval. It's going to put it at the exact times I want everything. So, okay, let me go ahead and schedule batch. And in this pending section, you'll see Brandy's stuff is all still there. And in Shirley's, you'll see that all these posts are here as well now. And so what we want to do since Brandy's name, it, look, Brandy's name is still in all of these posts, right? We just copied and put them in Shirley's post, in Shirley's party. So what we need to do is select them all. You are going to absolutely love this tip and, and select find and replace and then type in Brandy. And we're wanting to change it to Shirley. And it will quickly find every place that has Shirley. And it's really quite a bit near the end of the party. Every single um, link has my hostess name in it. So it easily makes sure that I don't wrongly <laughs> or uh, use a name in my parties anymore, you know? So I don't want it to say, welcome to Brandy's party, <laughs> if it's for Shirley. So. Um, this just is such a wonderful little shortcut. You don't have to go through every single post and change every single one. Now, another thing you can do is, for instance, in post number one, I ask what people like about March. Well, in April, I don't want to ask what people like about March. I'm going to go, you know, you can find anything. Tell me your favorite thing about April. So um, you can find any word and change it to another word. And this is really helpful if you change party days. So if you mention the party will close on Sunday, you don't want it to close on Sunday. You want it to close on Wednesday. So you can find the word Sunday, you know, find and replace and find and put Sunday and replace it with Tuesday or whatever you want to do. So <clears throat> that's very helpful. Um, another thing that you can do is time shift. So let's say that you scheduled this whole party and then you realized, oh no, Shirley's party is actually central time. It's not Eastern time. It's should, everything should be one hour forward. So what you can do is again, um, how you get all of them selected is by clicking on that little menu there, select all and do time shift. This takes all 48 posts. You can add one hour and apply and it's going to show you the new times everywhere. So you can see post number one right here, instead of being at 8.30 p.m., it's going to be 9.30 p.m. my time, which of course in central time would be there 8.30. So um, it's very easy to shift these posts. Um, you don't have to do them all if you just want to do a few. You know, say that, oh, you know what, I'm just going to make all these ending posts one hour later or five minutes later or whatever you want to do. You can just select those. Uh, you know what? I'm going to subtract five, four minutes, you know, so you can do however many you want and they'll all do that same four minute um, shift. So, all right. Well, I'm canceling that because I do not want to change this timing. Um, all right. I think that is good. And those are the main things I wanted to show you that time shift function and the find and replace function because they are just so, so important and make your life so much easier with Sense Share.